Jen from Tea Leaves in Tweed, and welcome to another tea session. Today, I thought we'd do something a little different. Instead of joining me at sunrise for a sunrise tea session, it's actually the afternoon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon, perfect time for afternoon tea. So today, I'm going to be sharing with you an English style cream tea, complete with a small pot of tea just for me, and a freshly baked scone that I made earlier today with cream and jam. So first I'm gonna get started by making my pot of tea. I have a Darjeeling tea by Harney and Sons Tea Company. This is a lovely light Indian black tea. It doesn't have the kind of rich full bodied flavor that an Assam breakfast tea might have. So I like it in the afternoon. And in the British style, I'm going to add one spoonful of tea for each cup. This is a two cup teapot and one for the pot. So that's three spoonfuls of tea. Over which I'm going to add some freshly boiled water. Now that's going to want to steep for about three to five minutes. So while that's steeping, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I came to love tea. Now, while English style tea would not have brought me to my love of the really traditional Chinese and Japanese brewing styles that I've showed in previous videos, my very, very first introduction to the world of tea came from my mother. When I was five years old, I went off to kindergarten and I went to kindergarten half day. And when I came home in the late afternoon, instead of just feeding me after school snack, my mother would have tea parties. She had a little vintage bone china tea set from the Brambley Hedges collection, where each little tea setting was based on a season and we would go to little vintage china shops and we would look for the seasons that we were missing and then every day after school, we'd pull out the china and we would sit and we would have a little tiny cup of tea and maybe some little cakes or she would make tiny sandwiches with the crusts cut off and occasionally she would bake a batch of scones and she baked them from a book called Simply Scones they had a recipe called the classic cream scone, which is what I've made today. It's just a plain scone made with rich cream and best served split with some cream and jam. Now, sadly, I don't have clotted cream on a regular basis. It's delicious. But when I don't have clotted cream, I take some very fresh whipping cream, heavy whipping cream, and I beat it as hard as I can just before it turns into butter. So it's very stiffly whipped, unsweetened cream. And I have some raspberry jam because raspberry is my favorite. So I'm going to split my scone and fix it up. Now, I know that there are two ways to eat your scone with cream and jam. Today, I'm going to eat mine jam first although it's mostly because I don't have clotted cream and the whipped cream doesn't really stand up very well to having the jam put on top of it. So I'm not endorsing one way or the other, but today I'm going jam first. So these scones smell amazing. They just came out of the oven a little while ago. I think I need more jam than that. And then top them with a little bit of the cream. So cream tea in the United Kingdom is 
a type of afternoon tea that is just a cup of tea served with a scone with cream and jam or maybe a piece of bread or a roll with some cream and jam. It's a little bit simpler than the fancier afternoon teas that have become almost like a mini meal. So this is a nice snack. We actually had cream tea or some sort of afternoon tea uh, stop almost every day that we were in Scotland for our honeymoon and it's just such a lovely tradition. Um, particularly if you eat your lunch around noon, which is around where I eat my lunch, and then you don't have dinner sometimes until 8 o'clock at night, you do need a little bit of sustenance in the middle of the day, particularly walking around uh, when you're on vacation. So, and originally the meal of afternoon tea was developed by a duchess to combat that sinking feeling in the middle, after, middle of the afternoon. So you have a little pick-me-up cup of tea, and you can have a little snack so you don't get too hungry before dinner comes along. So now it's been about three or four minutes and I'm going to see how my tea is doing. It's starting to look very nice. So rather than using an infuser, I like to use this little strainer over the cup. It means that the tea leaves do stay in the pot, so later cups of tea will get a little bit stronger. But that just means I can add more tea to my cup before it's completely empty, so that the weaker first cup of tea can mix with the slightly stronger stuff that comes later on. So now I have my cup of tea, I have my scones with cream and jam, and I'm not going to add anything to my tea today. If I were drinking a heavier bodied breakfast tea, I might add a little bit of milk or even a little sugar. But this is such a lovely Darjeeling that I'm going to have it plain. It smells really beautiful. Mm, it tastes like ripe, juicy fruits, a little bit of a raisin flavor to it, which is a bit characteristic of Darjeeling in some ways, but it's not a heavy syrupiness. I could have done with a couple of minutes more steeping, but it's not unpleasant. It's not too watery. And it'll go nicely with my scone. is a really delightful recipe. You very well could mix in some currants or some raisins into this recipe, but I love a good plain scone. It is the best base for the toppings and it just fits so nicely with a cup of tea. So that's how I make myself an afternoon cream tea. Thank you for joining me this afternoon for this tea session. I hope you'll join me again soon. Bye.